Good morning, everyone. I am Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Information, Jordan Caskey, and I want to welcome each of you to the Pierce Horton Football Complex in Furman University this morning for a very special announcement. Uh, to give you an idea of what we're doing this morning, the order of business, uh, Mike Buddy will give some uh, opening remarks. He'll introduce our new head men's basketball coach. Uh, coach will give some comments, and then he'll meet with the media in the back of the room for a few minutes. After that's through, he'll have time to greet each of you in here. So uh, if you'll just hold on for a few minutes so he can take care of those media obligations. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our athletics director, Mike Buddy. Good morning. Those of you standing in the back, there are plenty of seats if you'd like to come get comfortable. Um, Thank you all for coming here on a Monday morning uh, for a not secretive announcement to uh, to I want to thank uh, a lot of you in this room for your patience through this process. Um, probably none more so than our 14 young men who represent this university uh, on the hardwoods. It's never an easy time to go through a transition. Um, the unknown uh, quantity to that is kind of uh, leads to some anxiety, so I appreciate the patience. Um, so appreciate the support of President Davis. Um, it was interesting during the interview process, uh, it, it helps to be in my position to be able to say to all the candidates that the president is visible and supportive of your program and you mean it. Um, the fact that she's at uh, mid-court every opportunity she can be when she's in town uh, speaks a lot, so thank you for all your support. Um, these four gentlemen right here, the, uh, the, the staff, uh, always a, again, anxious time when there's uh, uh, just a cycle of, of unknown circumstances that are out, out, outside of your control. So uh, appreciate the way that they handled that, sitting tight, keeping on top of their kids, making sure they were going to class, making sure that they were staying in shape. All of this while pursuing a, a CIT championship um, speaks volumes of, of the type of character that they have. So, uh, and finally, uh, the people in this room, uh, the friends and donors and supporters of our program. Um, so many of you in this room were instrumental in getting us to where we are today. Um, being able to do a search, I, I, uh, Dr. Clark had to be in Lancaster County today, um, but I was joking with him. I would imagine five years ago, he was almost having to twist some people's arms. You know, he wanted to get people interested in the firm in position. Um, coming off of, of a few rough seasons, I'm in a totally different uh, circumstance. I had to fend people off. Um, so we're, we're thrilled uh, that Bob is staying here. I think continuity uh, in coaching is extremely important. Uh, continuity in a, to, in a program that went from nine wins to 11 wins to 19 and now to 23. Uh, you look at the mid-major programs that have had uh, traditional success, the VCUs, Davidson, Butler, Gonzaga, they all had continuity throughout the process. They were able to promote the next guy in line to come up. They've never skipped a beat, uh, and that was kind of at the, at the heart of this search. Um, someone was going to have to come in and blow our doors off um, to take over the, the spot that, that Bob was in. Um, recruiting is extremely important to a, to a small academic-based institution. Um, not only finding kids who want to be a part of what you're building, um, but ones who can work really hard in the classroom, ones who will represent you in the community extremely well. And so, you know, the, again, those 14 kids um, played a part in, in this decision, no question. I, I certainly didn't ask for their input. I got some of it. Um, but what they didn't know is the way that they represent this university probably spoke lo more loudly than anything that they wrote me or, or called me about. Um, so, you know, it was just a, a circumstance of what kind of message does it send if, if you don't promote from within to a staff that's done everything that you could have possibly asked. They're winning basketball games, they're winning in the community, and they're winning in the classroom. Uh, I think that's a great way to segue into uh, one of the, the uh, worst kept secrets in coaching searches. Um, it, it is funny, I'm a, I'm a guy of, of impulse a lot of times. Uh, I woke up Friday morning and I knew what I wanted to do. Um, April, for those of you who follow college basketball, is an extremely important time in recruiting. Um, and so without worrying about waiting until Sunday to keep this a secret, I, I knew the right thing to do was to go ahead and announce it so that Bob could get to work. Uh, and if those of you who know Bob, you know he was working all weekend. So um, 
With that, let me introduce our new head basketball coach, Bob Ritchie. Thank you, thank you. What a day to be here as your new head men's basketball coach. And uh, I got a couple goals through this. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as I can, but I've never been a man that's short of words. You can ask my mother. Uh, she'll let you know that and my kids as well, as well as my wife. But I've, there, this is an important day and, and it's a great day for me personally. It's a dream come true. And uh, I'm gonna try to hold it together. That's my second goal is to keep my emotions intact. But this is a dream come true for me. And if nothing else goes out of this room today, I want you to know that nobody in this country wanted to be your head coach more than me. And the plan that we have in place, the mission that we have in place, the student athletes that we have here and what we've done, we only look forward to continuing that forward. And I've got a lot of people to thank. I ask that you be patient. Uh, I've already approved it through Caroline. We've got a buffet if I go, through, if I go past 12 in the back. Uh, but I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to keep it as brief as I can but to get people thanked that need to be thanked. First of all, President Davis and, and Dr. Davis, you've been great to me, you've been great to this program, and I give you a sincere thank you, and I appreciate your support and your belief in me. Our AD, Mike Buddy, I've gotten to know him on a personal basis, which I'll say this, I've, I've been around two ADs here, and both of them have been great to our program, but I've got to know him personally through the past two years and what he stands for, what he's doing with this department, it's only going forward, and to be able to work for him and his belief in me, I sincerely appreciate that. Search committee, if, if Mike wouldn't have put me in front of 20 people, I would name all of you guys individually, but he put me through the ringer, and that was a great process, but I wanna thank all of you. Look forward to working with you, board of trustees, and I wanna take a minute to thank our supporters. I, I came through a, a, a transition. And Coach Medved had belief in me, but I was here before those days, right? And there's some people in this room that stuck with it. And I'm going to leave some people out, and I apologize for that in advance. But I want you to know that going forward, this, this isn't about me, okay? This is about us. And the support and the belief that people have continued with to try to get this program from where people before I was born in the 70s saw where it was, and the records that this group has set this year, that took a group effort. That wasn't a singular mission, that was a group effort. People like Raymond Newsom, Alec Taylor, Dr. Block, Bill Prevost, Charlie Mosley, Dave Ellison, I can go down the line. Okay, I can go down the line. Dwight Smith, you just, you, you people don't know how important you are to what we do. Everybody that's in the round ball, from Stewart, we can just go through the whole line. But you see, you guys see what's on the outside. You see the wins. You see the student athletes, okay? What you don't see is people supporting to get a locker room done that's the best in the conference, to get a team room done that gives us a chance to recruit student athletes and to invest in what they've done here. I saw it where it was five years ago. I was here, okay? You people are very important. I apologize if I left people out, but I want you to know you're dear to my heart, and I look forward to furthering those relationships, and I promise you I will do that. My family, this is going to be a tough one, but my wife, I love you to death. You're a rock, and for those of you that know her, you know what I'm, I'm talking about, and for those of you that don't, you're going to be blessed to get to know her. My kids, Audrey and Mac, I'm proud of you. It was a great moment on Friday. I got to tell you the news, but I look forward to you being a part of this. Nobody was happier than not to have to move to Iowa than those two. <laughs> My parents, you mean the world to me. And it's a dream come true to be able to sit here and thank you and publicly. You guys raised me right. I wouldn't be here without you. My in-laws, I actually like them. I thank you for what y'all mean to me and what y'all have meant to my family. Another huge thanks. Some of you are here, some of, some of them are in class. But the current team, man, what a group. What a group. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, had, we've been through a lot. And those guys have, have come in here as change agents. And I see Daniel, I see Trey, I see JD. A lot of those guys are in and out of class. 
but you guys don't understand what these kids have been, okay? And we all know the landscape of college basketball right now that kids are in and out of these things, right? All right, the transfer market's already unbelievable. We got probably 400 already on the list. We're one of five programs that hasn't had a kid leave this program the postseason the last two years. And that says something about this university. That says something about the way we're doing it. And that says something about these student athletes. I can't thank you enough for believing in us and being ready to continue this thing forward. I also want to thank the current staff. They've been great. This has been a group effort. I know they've been great because I've gotten all your text. And I do want to take a moment to let you know that Jay McCauley and Dwight Perry have agreed to stay on staff here. And Sally and Addie and Brittany, they're all part of this thing. It's a family effort. And I couldn't be more pleased to have their commitment and their dedication and their hard work to what we have going moving forward here. I know you guys have questions about the remainder of the staff, and I'm not going to address that here today. I will tell you this. I know that our success will be a large part due to the people that we put around us, and we will fight for the absolute best staff in the league. We will have people that are dedicated to the mission of Furman University and to continue to push this program forward. I want to let you know how excited I am to be here, and the reason I'm excited to be here is because this is an ideal job for me. And, you know, jobs are different, right? But we're in the South. We've got a great group of kids. We've got a mission that I align with personally. And when you talk about academic institutions and you talk about blending athletics with academics, there's a lot of different ways that people try to go about that in the country. And when we took this job four years ago, it was, it was a, a large pressure out there to resist what you have as an, in an academic institution and just tr to try to go find the best players you can. But Coach Medved and his vision was to not go away from that, but was to align further to that mission and to get people in the boat that agreed with the mission of the university, weren't afraid of the academic component, and furthermore, realized the advantages of what that meant to the rest of their lives. And that's why we're in the position that we're in today. And that's why it's an ideal job for me. Because I think that what Furman offers only helps young athletes grow into further men, and that's what we're going to be about. And that's not ideal for everybody, but for me personally, this is a dream job. And I've always thought in my life, you know, you, you see all the, the books and the lessons of, you know, what success looks like. For me individually, it's always been be a man of strong faith, believe in the gifts that you've been given, and just never give up. And as a program, we're going we're gonna to continue to do those three things. We're going to have strong belief, and we're going to always fight and never give up. And the reasons that people think that hold us back, we're going to draw closer to those. And the reason we're going to win here is because we are an academic institution, and we're able to recruit that type of student athlete. And I promise you, moving forward, we will continue to align with the mission that we have here. You'll get my best shot. You'll get our staff's best shot. You'll get our players' best shot. We will continue to make you proud as a program. Three important things to me moving forward. People, okay? This is a people business. This is a people business. We coach a game of basketball, but it is about people. We have to have a great staff. We have to have great support, okay? And we have to have great players. But that all has to align, and it's got to come together. Former players, very important, okay? And, and this is a message to you. I know a lot of you can't make it today. This is your program. We're going to do everything we can to keep you in the program and to get you back to the program. We've started that. We've addressed a lot of that. We want former players involved. Students, this is a message to you. We need you. We need you, okay? We're fighting hard every day to put a product on the court that can excite you. We need your support. We will do everything we can to connect with you. We are a part of this student body. We need you. Faculty. Message to you, you're in this with us, all right? Bold statement around here, right? We want, we want to connect with you. We are going to recruit student athletes that will come in your classroom and that will make you proud. That will not change. And we want you to be a part of what we're doing, and there will be things that we do to invite you and include you in our efforts. As a coach, my personal philosophy, 
everything we do is to help these players succeed. And that won't change. That, that will be everything that's a cumulative effort. We will all work to that. We'll have an attitude. We'll have a culture of love and hard work. Love is important to me. I think it's the strongest motivator in the world. You can take carrots and you can take fear and you can take all the things that leaders use to motivate people. But if you can get a group that loves each other, there is no greater motivator in the world. And we will get a group in here that loves the game of basketball. That's the challenge in recruiting. We're not going to go through all of our our selection process and the secrets that we go by to get the finest student athletes that we can find. But I will tell you this, love of the game of basketball is important in today's time. We'll get people that love the growth process and, and, and players that want to grow as people. And we'll also get people that you've seen that love the group, right? That's important. And you've seen us play this year, how we share the ball, how we move the ball, how we defend. It's about loving the group. And that will be part of our culture. My goals are simple. My goals are very simple. We will recruit the best student athletes that can possibly come to Furman University. They will be, they will be involved in every single part of what we do here. We have a great sell right now. Couldn't be better. And I know I can't get specifically into recruiting, but recruits, if you're watching, there's no better time to be at Furman University than today, right? There's no better time. And I was, I was talking to recruits this weekend and I was thinking to myself and I was, I was thinking about where we've come from but you know what? It feels good, right? People that have been in sales, sometimes you sell and, and you, you analyze what you're selling. But I got off the phone this week and I thought, you know what? I looked at that championship trophy from this season and I thought, it's true. We got one of the best cities in America right now. We got one of the best degrees in the country. We're winning a championship and this thing's only moving forward. There's no better time to come to Furman. The second goal will be to engage our student athletes in the university and maximize all its advantages. The third goal will be to win a championship. That will always be a goal around here. And our goal will be to continue to compete for regular season championships and to go to Asheville and win that last day and take this group dancing. And then the fourth goal, which is huge to me, is to continue to always mature players into men. And I think if we do that well, that the winning will be a byproduct of all of that. And if we can continue our process of selecting correctly, developing properly, that we will have the men that we need to go be husbands, fathers, successful people down the road. In closing, I'll tell you this, dream big. Don't be afraid because I, I stand here today and this is a dream come true. I've been in your seat before and I've always wondered if I would get the opportunity to stand up here. And I always believed that one day it was gonna come I didn't quite know when, but I kept that belief. And every single day, through every adverse moment, I just kept dreaming. And it might not be to be the head coach at Furman University one day, but individually, each of you can have a dream. And don't let adversity hold you back. Don't let what people say hold you back. Continue to dream big. Dream big for what we can do here. Let's not be small thinkers. Let's take what we have, let's use it to our advantage, let's come together as a group, and let's go do it together, okay? And, and I mean what I say, I, there couldn't be a happier person in America right now. And I look forward to joining hands with you, marching this program forward, and connecting with each of you in the future. Thank you so much. We're live here at the Pierce Horton Football Complex at the just completed press conference to uh, well, really announce one of the worst kept secrets in college basketball and that's that Bob Ritchie, the man to my left, is the new head basketball coach here at Furman University. And first of all, Bob, congratulations. You said a dream come true about a hundred times in your press conference. Absolutely, and I mean that. 
And uh, I've always, since I was a kid, growing up in Columbia, watching Coach Fogler on the sidelines, I always thought, wow, if you can do this for a living, what a life. And uh, at 34 years old today, I attest to that. This is a dream come true, and uh, we just look forward to getting to work. How much sleep did you get during this process? You know what? It was funny. Everybody has asked me that. My, my sleep, you know, I probably don't sleep enough as it is. My, my sleep was pretty consistent. My eating dropped significantly. And, uh, you, know, you know, that was just how I dealt with my, my anxiety and, and, and my ability to continue to feel like what we had to do to push this thing forward. When Coach Medved left and you were tagged as the interim head coach, it's not the first time you've been the interim coach here. First time you did it with yet another game to play. But you were the transition guy the last time there was a coaching change here. So you've seen this program from the depths that it was at to where we stand now, which is a very highly marketable program. How has this six-year period been for you? How has it changed you? You know what I'll say in one word? Fulfilling. And, and, and I, mean, I mean that because this business right now is so much about winning now. If, if players can help you, use them. If they can't, get rid of them. But to be able to come in and see something from the bottom that all these people wanted to see built up, all right, and to have a hand in building that, and then to be the person that they choose to continue it forward, it's just been fulfilling. And uh, we've seen it from the bottom. We've, we've put in the right plan to continue to grow it, and uh, we're not done yet. About two weeks ago, you and I did an interview right after you were named the interim head coach and and I asked you point blank about wanting the job and and you basically said the same thing there that you said here nobody in America wanted this job more than you why is this place so special to you you know it's just a it's the right fit for me and we talk about that in recruiting a lot you got to find the right fit this is a right fit for me I'm from the south my family's from Greenville what this place stands for aligns with what I stand for. We can recruit some of the finest student athletes in the country that want to grow into men. And, and not, just, not just about basketball. We want to win games, but we want to change people's lives. And this place gives me an opportunity to do that. And I'm, this is just a dream job for me. You said you had two goals when you started your press conference. One of them was to keep your emotions in check and did a pretty good job of it. I tried. I almost lost it. And I knew, I knew if I lost it, it was going to be hard to pull back. Uh, but my family is special to me, and uh, I, that was probably the, the most challenging moment. And they've, they've been my rock, and I love them to death. But, uh, yeah, I tried, to, I tried to make it through their drive. During this process, before you got the call Friday that you were the guy, uh, tell us about the uh, support that you've gotten from the boosters, from players. What kind of interaction did you have with folks who've been so much a part of this program here the last four years? Very humbling, very humbling, and, and I was getting calls in the business of go get the job. What do you have to do? Who do you have to connect with? How do you put the pieces together? And I kept telling them, I don't have to, I don't have to do any of it. They're, they're doing it, you know, because of what we've done and what we've built and the, the, the relationships that we've established, they were a step ahead of me. And uh, that was humbling to, to get the calls from them and to tell them how much they believed in me and what we had moving forward. And uh, it, it's just been great to connect with them. And I look forward to extending more relationships like that and getting more people on the boat and uh, pushing this thing ahead. All right. So as Mike mentioned in his words introducing you, April is a big recruiting month. And you've already been working, obviously. What lies ahead now as far as where this team is in the offseason and what you and your staff will be working on? Well, the most important recruits we have are our current team right now, and we will continue to. We have workouts this afternoon, and uh, we'll get to work there. And then, yes, it's no secret we got to we got to replace these these juniors next year. Or next year will be seniors. There's four of them. They're all really good players, but we've got the best sell we've ever had here. And uh, we're going to go out there and we're going to go out there and show people what we have and let Furman speak for itself because the place sells itself right now. And uh, we'll recruit as hard as anybody in the country. I promise you that. You said in your remarks that Jay McCauley, Dwight Perry have committed to staying here on staff. Do you have a time frame for completing your staff? As quick as possible, but as, as smart as possible. And uh, I'm not going to rush into it. It's like recruiting. There's a lot of good people that want to come here. And you got to figure out the tiebreakers and you got to be selective. Our staff will be huge. And uh, we're going to put together a really, really good staff. I was going to ask you if you're ready now for all the peripheral things that come with being the head coach, like doing a lot of this. Uh, is your wife ready for all of this? She is. She is. And uh, she texted me this morning. She said, can you believe this day's come? And, uh, you know, she's excited. My kids are excited. And uh, we're just looking forward to moving this thing ahead with everybody in the boat. 
Well, you and I are going to get a chance to talk on my show tomorrow morning. I know there are a whole bunch of other people here who want to talk to you, Bob, but please accept my sincere congratulations on getting the job. I th think they made the right decision. Now let's keep this train moving in the right direction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Dan, and uh, look forward to spending a lot of time with you. All right. That is head coach Bob Ritchie of the Furman Powell's basketball program. Thank you for tuning in here on YouTube for this exciting day in this press conference here at the Pierce Horton Center. For all of us here at Furman University, I'm Dan Scott saying God bless you. So long, everybody.